Fabrication word is related to construction. Fabrication means a process of construction of any product or assembly by combining parts with the help of one or more individual processes like casting, molding, cutting, punching, bending, welding, etc. Joining processes are one of the most important fabrication process which used to construct a product or assembly. Joining processes are generally considered as the secondary manufacturing processes. Here in this video, we are going to discuss one of the most important joining process that is called welding. So hello everyone, welcome to Code Screen and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most important joining process, it is called welding. Welding is considered as the secondary manufacturing process and it is used to join the parts which obtain from primary manufacturing processes like forming, sharing, casting etc. So here we will discuss the concepts of welding as well as different types of welding. So welding is considered as a joining process. It used to join two metallic parts with the application of heat and with or without application of pressure. So welding is a fabrication process which provide permanent joints. In welding two parts are joined together by the application of heat and this joining is mainly done with the help of filler material which is heated above melting points and then allowed to solidify to complete the joining process. The material or the metal which need to be joined is called parent metal and the material which we are using for the joining purpose is called filler material. So welding is mainly done to provide permanent joints and the strength of the joint should be equal or greater than the parent metal. So that's why it is also called metallurgical fusion process. And this particular process, welding process is used for repairing purpose also, not for the manufacturing purpose. It is used for the repairing purpose also like to join broken casting. And the product obtained after welding is called weld mats. As per American Welding Society, AWS, the welding processes are classified according to source of heat input and types of joints. So here I am going to discuss different types of welding processes which are used to provide permanent joint to parent metals. So let's discuss the classification of welding on the basis of different criteria. So it is mainly divided into three parts, solid state welding, fusion welding, and soldering and brazing. Solid state welding we can define as the welding process or group of joining process in which the joining surface is achieved without melting only by applying pressure or we can say by only applying pressure and with or without application of heat. The temperature of the parent metal or workpiece should not exceed the melting point. So the solid state welding is mainly performed by the application of pressure. So the pressure is the main factor here which used to perform welding. And the processes which we are considering in solid state welding or different types of solid state weldings are resistance welding, friction welding, diffusion welding, flash welding, cold welding, ultrasonic welding and explosion welding. So these type of welding processes are considered as a solid state welding and these processes I will discuss in long in further lessons. Now coming to the fusion welding. So the fusion welding is completely opposite to solid state welding. The fusion welding is depends on the temperature where the temperature of the workpiece or the molten metal should be greater than the melting point. Here temperature is the main factor of welding. Here we won't consider pressure as the main factor and the fusion welding is defined on the basis of application of chemical energy and electrical energy and the complete description of fusion welding I will discuss in further lessons. Now coming to the next type of welding processes which are soldering and brazing. These are considered as the allied processes and in both the processes only filler metal is melt. It won't melt the base material. 
Now let's discuss different types of fusion welding on the basis of chemical energy and electrical energy criteria. So if we are using chemical energy to perform fusion welding, so it is mainly done by the oxyacetylene welding oxy fuel welding and thermit welding if we are using electrical energy to perform welding so it is mainly done by the consumable electrode welding non consumable electrode welding and there are other types of welding processes which are performed on the basis of electrical energy that is called laser beam welding and electron beam welding each of these welding processes i will discuss in further lesson to provide complete concepts about the welding now if we talk about electrical energy so it is mainly done by the consumable electrode and non consumable electrode so if we are using consumable electrode so these are the processes which are using mainly consumable electrode these weldings are gas metal welding shielded metal arc welding submerged arc welding flux cord arc, arc welding electro gas welding and electro slag welding the non consumable electrodes are gas tungsten arc welding atomic hydrogen welding and plasma welding so this is the classification of welding or the fusion welding where the in welding process we are, we are using consumable electrode and non consumable electrode most of the welding processes are performed with the help of two types of welding processes one is arc welding and another is gas welding most of the manufacturer of these two types of welding processes to join two work pieces to construct a particular type of product here arc welding is classified in terms of gas metal welding shielded metal arc welding submerged arc welding flux cord arc welding gas tungsten arc welding and plasma welding so these types of welding are considered under arc welding and arc welding we can define on the basis of heat source also so this classification we are defining on the basis of source of heat now the next most used welding process is known as gas welding where gas is the main source of heat gas is used to provide heat to the workpiece so it is classified as oxy hydrogen welding oxy acetylene welding electro gas welding etc so most of the manufacturer use arc welding and gas welding to perform welding operations so these are the basic welding processes on the basis of different criteria here we have discussed all the processes so solid state welding so these are the solid state welding as per the solid state welding concept fusion welding where the temperature is the main source so it is defined on the basis of use of chemical energy and electrical energy soldering and brazing is somewhat different to welding and these are considered as allied processes and here on the basis of chemical energy if we are using chemical energy for the welding so this is the classification and if we are using electrical energy so this is the criteria where the consumable electrode used for the welding non consumable electrode used for the welding and other heat source like laser beam electron beam these are the weldings which are considered under the criteria of electrical energy and electrical energy here there is further more classification uh, on the basis of use of consumable electrode and non consumable electrode so this is the mixture of gas welding and arc welding now most of the manufacturer perform gas welding and arc welding for the purpose of welding so here this the particular discrimination between the arc welding and gas welding so these are the types of welding which are used by most of the manufacturer for the welding processes the further more type of welding processes which we defined on the basis of joints are considered as the resistance welding so it is defined as the spot welding seam welding projection welding flash welding butt welding etc thermit welding is also one of the process uh, welding process which we use for the joining purpose and uh, there are allied processes are brazing and soldering so here are number of welding processes are used by the manufacturer to perform a welding process over a particular workpiece or over a particular job to form a complete product so this is the classification of welding 
So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button. And if you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe the channel. And you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their benefit. And thank you so much. See you in next video.